Hello engineers, in this video we are going to discuss about the how to bypass the timer and what is the importance of it, right? So we will have seen that in our industry or in our domestic application there is a digital timer or analog timer which we use, okay? And the purpose of the timer is to on or off our output at a particular time, right? Here, if you will see in this video, this is my digital timer, right? So, or time switch you can see, which we can use for the 24 seven, means you can simply on or off your output at a particular time for the 24 seven, right? What you will have to do, you will have to simply give the program, or you can say you can simply set some input there, and on the basis of that, your output will be on or off, okay? This is my output here, the this bulb got it my point now your uh, simply if i say the timer could be analog or digital right so what will happen in an analog timer in analog timer you here first of all see that this is your manual as well as auto right so manually you can also do it as i am doing here or auto in auto you can also do it now if you will see this one, this is my analog, right? So in analog timer, this is also 24 seven. So let's suppose if you have to control, mainly it is used in a street light, right? Let's suppose if you have to on or off your, let's suppose this bulb, okay? Let's suppose you want that at 7 p.m. It, it should be on or at 6 a.m. in the morning, it should be closed. So it you can do this with the help of this analog timer, but let's suppose if you want that manually you can do that so you can't do that okay but this in in that digital timer you could do that but in this analog timer you cannot do that right so let's suppose if this timer this analog timer you are using one uh, let's suppose heavy load or any motor right so at that time if you have to do that that manually action you have to do that so what you will do you can simply bypass it right so in this video we will learn about it that how can we bypass are you getting my point right and here i have also programmable time switch this is also another timer i have and these both timer are same right this timer can be also operate manually as well as automatically as the another one are you getting my point now there are so many timers okay and in industry sometimes we have to bypass the timer okay to operate our load there are some emergencies so we must know about it okay so here we are going to learn that how we will do that this is very very easy topic very very simple but must or important one okay now let's suppose if you have to bypass any timer right it may be timer or it may be mpcb rccb mcb overload relay rcbo so what you have to do you have to simply connect its input right here and output with the help of the any switch it may be selector switch or it may be your rcb or M mcb are you getting my point what i am saying simply what you have to do in our case what we will do we will simply connect the input input means input to the your timer okay this is my input are you getting my point so what i'll do i'll simply connect this input with the help of the selector switch to the output right so what will happen that whenever the whenever that switch will be actuate so your timer will be bypass okay now if you have to bypass both the circuit breaker and timer all let's suppose if you have to bypass only this timer so what you will do you will simply take two wire from the output of the circuit breaker and with the help of the selector switch you will connect that wires okay you will connect the wires to the the output of your timer okay digital timer you will do that okay so what will happen that your timer will be bypassed now let's suppose if you have to bypass these both so what you will do you will take the two wire from the main input with the help of the your switch or your mcb you will connect to the at the output of this timer are you getting my point this is very very simple now see that this is my timer i have given here some program or some input so when you will go at the setup so you will see that at 1330 your output will be on your lamp will be on and at 1333 it will be off okay now because it is at the auto before that you cannot on or off this right manually you can do 
but automatically you cannot do that because we have given here some program are you getting my points right now let's suppose if you have to bypass these both means your circuit breaker and timers what you can do you can simply use here the another circuit breaker or mcb okay so and i have already told you how you can do that okay so like when have when you have to use the selector switch when you have to use the switch when you have to use the circuit breaker it depends upon your load if the load is heavy if let's suppose the load is your motor or any heavy load so you can simply go with the circuit breaker okay now i'll show you here the connection and after that i'll tell you that how i have done that are you getting my points that is also very very simple so if you will see the connection okay so i have given the input to the my second circuit breaker from the first circuit breaker okay from the main input right from the main input i have given the input to the my second circuit breaker and if you will see here one thing the output of this circuit breaker if you will see so output i have given to the output of my digital timer okay and at the load section right so that's how we we do the bypass of the timer right so if i simply on the circuit breaker so you can simply see here your load will be on because here your timer has been bypassed are you getting my point that's how we do the bypass of the timer or, or bypass of the mpcb mcb overload relay rcbo etc right if let's suppose because like instead of this circuit breaker you could use the rotary switch okay and let's suppose if your like load is very normal so what you could do you could simply use the selector switch okay it could be your at like one position or it could be your second position or two position right and you could also use here the toggle switch right so that's how we do the bypass of the timer or you could bypass anything here okay okay so please do that practically in your home okay stay safe while doing that right now if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box i'll definitely give you the reply as soon as possible i read your all comments okay and when you comment in the comments box so it gives us the motivation to make the more videos okay as this is our new youtube channel so please subscribe this youtube channel Okay, so that's all for the today's video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.